Hello, I am Yukiko Miyai, presenting a crafter's clay from Master Start Craft. Crafter's clay is a lightweight, paper-based compound. It air dries to a perfect finish without baking in 24 hours. You can add glitter, paint, or sealant to your dry clay or leave it natural. You can use crafter's clay with Master Start Craft silicone molds to easily create custom dimensional embellishments for use in paper crafting. You can also use it free form to hand scrub the beautiful lifelike flowers, figurines, and other objects. Get started with one of the two crafters clay starter kits or purchase the clay and mold separately. The starter kits include everything you need to get started, including a clay mold and more they also include instruction for how to make hand sculpted flowers, either the rose or hydrangea. I'm going to show you how to make a hand sculpted rose. Begin by blending your clay to create the colors you want. Crafter's clay is available in white, plus the three primary colors, and brown. With these basic colors, you can blend any custom color you like. The Master Start Craft color chart offers some good suggestions. Roll the clay into a ball. Pull like a taffy. And make a tiny little ball. Stretch on your palm. As you go, you use your thumb to stretch from the left to right. Push up. Stretch to the side and pull it down. So this gives you height of the rows. And make sure you use damp paper towel underneath of the petal so that will keep the clay not to get dry. To make a regular size of rose, you need about 10 to 12 petals. So it's ready to put together. So first petals, you always pick one of the high, highest petals to roll from left to right. So this will be the bud. So make sure pick the petals and place the petals one with the textures inside. So go all the way around. Same thing for the second one, textures inside. And go all the way around, right actual across from your second petal. And the third petal is the in between of the second and the third. So now you can kind of open up the top part of the petal. So same thing, halfway overlap. Stretch the petal a little bit on the right side. Open up the top. And then last petals, you make sure you stretch into the left side. Keep overlapping. Tuck in the last petal. Tuck in the last petals. Open up the top. And then make sure you stretch and smooth the bottom. Tuck in and place the petals. Same thing again. Open up the top. So in the end, you can kind of open up all the way and stretch and smooth the bottom and cut excess, the bottom part of the rose. Mix some green clay and then make sure you stretch the clay before you use and then let's make a five small balls for the calyx. And again, make sure you have a wet paper towel underneath of balls. So now we are going to use the bottom of your thumb, making a teardrop, one side pointed. Or you can use a table to make this shape. So now we are attaching a calyx to the rose. Press the bottom of the calyx.
and then pinch the bottom of the rose. Smooth and then stretch. Take off the excess. So use a floral wire using a craft glue. Insert the wire to the rose. Smooth the bottom. After rose is completely dry, you can use a floral tape. Before you use, make sure you stretch the tape. Tape it from the top to the bottom. Make sure stretch the tape and roll it down. Now you have a finished rose. Look for additional videos to learn tips for working with crafters clay and how to create embellishments using Martha Stewart Craft silicone mold. Crafters clay for Martha Stewart Craft is available at the craft stores and online. This lightweight compound brings endless possibility to your paper crafts and all your crafting.